so here we are back again at the lazy kitchen appliance discourse and here's the thing these products do not make anybody lazy they're actually extremely helpful for disabled people now this discourse is nothing new it comes and it goes in waves in terms of how much that is going to be talked about and yesterday i came across this video from a tiktoker that i do follow and it was a duet to another video somebody holding this kind of like a strainer right and they had rice in it they were washing it and then they used it to wash and drain the rice it had the little holes on the side so you could just use that and the water went down very easily now the guy who did a duet to this video is the wash your rice guy and i like this guy i followed him for quite a while and i think he's hilarious and when he did this duet he was saying that it wasn't hard to just take your rice and put it in a normal pot or whatever and then you know hold it up and hold it over so that the water just drains out. And the comment section was actually really, really good with this. Nobody was mean in the comment section, at least nothing that I saw. I was scrolling down for quite a bit. And a lot of people commented about how they are disabled, that they have arthritis or carpal tunnel syndrome, hi me, and how this was just an easy way or an easier way to get that done. No harm, no foul. If it's of no use to you, it doesn't mean it's of no use to anybody else. And I also made a stitch to the video basically explaining that. To which somebody in the comments on my own said that this guy's account is satire, etc, etc. And I get it. I get it that he's just being funny and I wasn't mad at the video. Regardless, I'm going to make a stitch and tell people who might not know that these things are just accessible tools. And the guy did read all the comments and he actually posted an apology video on his TikTok saying, you know, he learned something new. He wasn't aware of, you know, that it would be easier for certain types of people. And we all went on about it. And that was a really good way of acknowledging that, hey, it might not be hard for you, but it's going to be hard for other people. And again, nobody was mean about it in the comments, at least nothing that I saw. And like I said, you see these types of things on TikTok a lot, on Instagram, whatever. On Kitchen Talk, I guess you can call it, you'll see a lot of videos on a lot of these appliances. Vegetable choppers, the rice strainer. I think I've seen something for a bagel cutter, which for me, I would just get pre-sliced bagels. I know that a lot of abled people don't really think of these products as, you know, accessible products that are actually meant for disabled people. I don't know if anybody's ever confirmed it, but obviously that's the theory here. These products are meant for disabled people, for elderly people. They just don't market it exactly as such. If they were to market these as such, like directly say, this is for disabled people, there would be a disabled tax, if you will, attached to it. That, or it would be a lot more difficult to put it into the market. So to help keep the cost down, to help make it more accessible, it's funny to call cost more accessible considering the economy we're in now, but I mean, just imagine it would be even more expensive now. If these things weren't marketed, especially at 3 a.m. infomercials for the general population, these things would be so much more expensive. So for me, with my carpal tunnel syndrome and my tendonitis in another hand, something like that particular rice strainer would be good for me. I would absolutely love a little vegetable chopper. And since I will be moving into my own apartment in 50 days, that petrifies me. And I still don't believe it's actually happening yet. I probably won't believe it even when I get my keys. I'm already, I've already been thinking about what tools I could get for myself that would make things a little bit more accessible and a little easier on my carpal tunnel syndrome hand, especially because it's starting to act up again. So lifting heavy things, I would probably drop a regular pot. And for me, I already kind of work around things in the kitchen by having specific pots that will have long handles and one side of it has like a little triangle so it's much easier to get the liquid out. And I'm sure a whole bunch of other able people have the same type of pot or pan or whatever too. And it's gonna be cheaper because it's not directly marketed for disabled people. So thank you. So hey, if you didn't know that before, you know that now if you come across this video. So just think about that the next time you see somebody taking an onion in a vegetable chopper. Actually, I would like to believe that everybody would agree on putting an onion in a vegetable chopper because chopping them, you probably won't see that in a professional chef setting, but for your everyday life in your own kitchen, probably a lot better. <laughs> 
So with that all being said and done, I'm going to need an engagement on this video and I think the best way to get engagement on this video is for me to ask you, those of you that live on your own and do cooking, right? Which, speaking of which, I'm also going to be talking about the whole pre-cut fruits and vegetable things in the video after this probably, so stay tuned for that. But let me know what accessible things do you have in your kitchen to help you out, especially if you have carpal tunnel syndrome, but disabled people in general. We like engagement on videos and we like conversations, so leave all of that down below in the comments. And if you would like to support the work that I do, I do have a Patreon page where you get more access to exclusive content as well about awareness of disabilities. That sounds way too weird and formal. Disability awareness, deaf awareness, entertainment content, all sorts of things writing also as well. I will have a link to that down below for as low as a dollar a month you get a lot of stuff just for a dollar but obviously the higher the tier the more big things that you get be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads hopefully especially like i said the pre-cut fruits and vegetables video that i want to do will hopefully go live after this we gotta talk about it we gotta keep on talking about it because people keep bringing it up thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video i really do appreciate it and i will see you later